the energy vibration reading for the Taurus Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for um, the wonderful wonderful um, um, supports likes and share that you have been giving me um, to this channel um, it is the fourth week of January 2017 and the energy vibration reading for you guys is um, the energy of um, uh, it's a fire week and the zodiac energy is um, um, air okay so it's fire in here so it's gonna be a week of a lot of stuff that is happening around you okay so let's look at the energy for you guys um, what is happening um, you have the energy of the hermit on a Monday um, the energy of the hermit is um, a water sign the energy of the hermit is taking you back and you know I want you to um, look inside and look and see what's happening um, look and see what has transpired in your life and how things are going to be changing from this moment the hermit is seeing the truth in a light of who you are and bringing that out in a lot of forms um, that is going to be coming out there, okay on Tuesday you have the energy of the sword the energy of the swords you have the ten of swords in reverse whatever the situation is of was that has transpired in this week the energy of the swords is in the reverse form for whatever reason okay and this is the ten of swords in the reverse form this is all lies and situations or and you're leaving this behind on um, Wednesday so the three of ones is the crowning for your week the three of ones is the crowning for your week as we move forward we have the energy vibration of the eye princess this is a wonderful energy of the eye princess coming up on Thursday it is going to be a very intuition day where a lot of people in a lot of situations this information is going to be very clear to you okay whatever that was happening whatever that was transpiring there is a lot of information that is going to be extremely character and a lot of information that is going to be coming out to you so it's going to be extremely extremely um, good okay now we have the energy of the Queen of Wands and for some of you this energy of the Queen of Wands is coming in um, the Queen of Wands could be um, you know um, situation that is happening um, and that sort of a thing and what is happening here is that whatever the situation that has transpired between you and this Queen of Wands it has make you become very very nervous you have the nine of sword and a nine of swords is when you're thinking and everything is going on in your head and that sort of a thing and you have now the energy of the nine of swords so this is good as we move on we have the seven of cups which is a wonderful energy I love this energy I love this sort of a vibration of the cards because it's wonderful it's positive and what is happening what is transpiring you are seeing that the energy of the cups are here so as I look at your week you know there are no no supporting energies for you Taurus and you're in a fire week the only fire energies is on Wednesday and Friday for the rest it's all about the swords and the water energies um, for this week you have the energy of the nine of Pentacles so money will be coming into you no matter what is happening um, money your financial uh, situation and stability will be very balanced out okay so this is wonderful and this is positive so whatever the situation is whatever the energy is whatever that is transpiring um, the energy of the nine of Pentacles is here for you and this is going to be good money is going to be coming at you okay so let's look further and see what is going to be transpiring um, in this week what is going to be transpiring um, you have the energy of judgment in the beginning of the week the energy of judgment is there a situation that has transpired um, you are looking at yourself you're looking within and you're trying to find out you have the energy of the ten of swords and you have the energy of the queen of swords so whatever it is there's a judgment that is going to be coming towards you from um, the um, queen of ones Queen of Wands is a is a, um, a Leo, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person, and um, not to worry about that. It's going to be coming up towards you um, on this day. Not to worry. Okay, so let's see what else is transpiring. 
in the middle of the week you have the energy of the page of one so it's 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 a week of a lot of information that is coming at you um, the, the page of ones is always bringing news about work and situations and um, whatever is happening whatever is transpiring you're seeing um, situation happening around you and there is a transparent so um, whatever information that is coming in it's going to change the vibration of the lies and that sort of a thing and you're going to be leaving that sort of a situation behind and you're going to be moving forward as we look at um, the last part of the week you have the energy of the nine of cups which is um, a wonderful a wonderful wonderful energy okay so the energy of the the nine of cups is a positive energy and this is um, you're leaving something behind because I love the energy of the nine of cups you're leaving something behind because you have the three of one on Wednesday leaving something behind and all of a sudden on Thursday um, information is coming at you situations it's coming at you and you're realizing and you're seeing the truth of a situation and then you have the energy of the seven of cups so you're dreaming you're dreaming and whatever you're dreaming is materializing in the last half of the week which is um, very positive and very good so you know on Sunday you're dreaming of things and these things are going to be materializing in the energy of the nine of cups which I positive think that is one of the most positive energy um, in the, the um, in this deck because what is happening here is that the energy of the nine of cups is going to be wonderful happiness feeling a situation pleasure and um, a satisfaction good times okay so um, this is actually complementary because whatever is happening the energy of judgment judgment is information coming in and this information is coming in from someone who is the queen of wands this uh, um, this information in the beginning of the week is coming in from someone who is um, an Aries Leo or a um, um, Sagittarius okay and 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 there is a message that is coming um, towards you and the message is that your wishes and dreams are coming true because obviously there is a transition that is happening okay and um, whatever is this message or this judgment call which is not it's, it's not a bad thing um, because you have uh, your weak energy as, as the nine of Pentacles you Tauruses so whatever the information that is coming out is, is not very um, bad okay so let's move forward and let's look at this and let's see what was transforming with the ten of swords because you were stabbed in the back and that sort of a thing and you know you went look uh, to look um, within um, you have the ten of swords the ten of swords is twice in your reading so a lot of lies and a lot of situation a lot of things that is happening and um ten of swords comes back up again on the ten of swords so um it's, it's kind of it's kind of weird but this is kind of serious <laughs> and then you have the tower so this is wonderful this is positive because you have twice the ten of swords and then you have the tower so whatever the lies and the things that was told and that sort of a thing um, actually now the truth is going to be coming out and then you have the energy of the Empress so this is wonderful because what 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 is transpire is that um, the hermit the hermit you you know on Monday you really went in within and you look and you know you were stabbed in the back in so many ways because the ten the Ten of Swords came up twice on each other. So it's obviously lies and something. But what happened with the, the double Ten of Swords? You have the energy of the Tower. So there is a breaking down. The, whatever lies and whatever things that were told and said, the energy of the Tower come and it is breaking it down. And that is good. You're moving away from something and your intuition is guiding you to a new part. And what is going to happen is that whatever your materialistic needs and wants it it's going to be met okay because you have the energy of the nine of um, Pentacles nine of coins okay so we're gonna look and see what does this Queen of Swords and the nine of swords is the four of swords take time to rest 
heal from whatever situation that has transpired in your life because obviously there is a situation and the last one is that you have the energy of the queen of swords so um this energy of this queen of swords um the energy of the queen of swords because it's um you know you're going to get information from the queen of wands and the queen of wands is going to tell you to take rest from a situation because there's a worrisome situation that was happening and this queen of swords comes in you know so it could be someone who um at the end of the week that is going to in the weekend that is going to come in so this queen of swords is going to come in in the weekend whatever the situation is is that your worries uh, um, it's going to be transfer into your wishes and dreams. Okay, your worries is going to be transfer in your wishes and your dreams. And what else is going to be here is the six of one. So there is information, good news that is on its way, and it's perfect because what this will do, it's going to be um, transforming your life in a wonderful way and helping you. Um, to move forward in your life in good and positive positive way because you have the energy of the six of ones the six of ones is positive news on the horizon for you and this could be the energy of the nine of Pentacles so um, it's a wonderful reading because there are so many good positive things that is coming in because whoever and and whatever that was transpiring whoever that was lying and and, and, and making mischief and that sort of a thing this has actually end whoever was lying making mischief and that sort of a thing this has um, ended and uh, it was time for it to end because nothing comes before time okay and you are going to hear about the message of the tower um, because there was a lot of lies okay there was a lot of lies and things that was transpiring Okay, your numbers um, for this week is going to be 9, 9, 9, and 10. <laughs> 9 and 10. Your numbers for this week is going to be the number 9 and 10. Okay, so this is good. This is wonderful. This is positive. Let's see what is the energy from the light workers oracle you have invitation by hair invitation by hair this is a wonderful one um, so it's um, twice six so you have six nine and ten invitation by hair and let's see what that is happening for you guys invitation by air and the all irrigation because you guys have to reread this um, for you Tauruses and for everyone who is watching the Sun Moon Horizon sign this evocation is very important to say okay because you're guided to say this so, I call upon the unconditional unconditional loving ones to help me empty and refresh my mind renewing in um, eternal love May I expect my freedom in making wise decision that creates joy and love in me and in the world. I ask for divine mercies, compassion, protection, and instruction to assist me in being and bringing my mind into a loving consciousness. May the light of divine shine so unobstructable through my mind, bringing peace. To me and this situation okay and this world may the unconditional loving helps of humanity help bring light healing and joy to the minds of all though my own uh, through my own um, free will so be it so these inaugurations you can always go back and rewind the videos and it is always to say three times in this book it's just one time but um whenever we do irregulation it's always um three times that we do it so that we can um clear certain things there are certain numbers for to do certain things okay so this is a wonderful energies um for you guys it's a powerful powerful um 
um, um, energy this is um, wonderful let's see and let ask the angel if you have any questions ask your questions for this week because the angels are here to guide you and let you know what exactly is happening so ask your question a year from now so whatever um, that you have just asked it is a year from now a year from now so huh, isn't this wonderful a year from now so this is good whenever it says a year from now it can be um, um, your next birthday cycle a year from now is always uh, um, your next birthday cycle okay so whenever something says a year from now and that sort of a thing it's always about your next birthday cycle um, or yeah your next birthday cycle um, so um, whatever you have asked for um, before the answer was given it's a year from now and 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 trust me sometimes these things um, are so um, you know these things do happen and really a year from now these things always transpire it's it's, it's very um, it, it, it's, it's very unusual that sort of a thing but it, 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 it does transpire so be aware and be ready and be waiting because whatever you're asking for is going to happen within a year from now and some people can say well I can't wait that long and that sort of a thing and sometimes you know you, you need to learn that um, divine timing is and does a lot divine timing is very important um, with the ascension of the divine timing because with divine timing you need to understand that um, you have to wait on other people um, to get in um, you have to wait on other people to really get in line before you can do um, or you can be with certain situation and do certain situation okay because everything happens in the divine timing so um, understand that life is really full of surprises and um, um, we need to find the, the the time to really work out certain things in our lives to understand where we are okay so um, this is good so when we have um, you know I hear from now the event you're asking about will occur within this year okay so it's their next birthday cycle or soon after then during this time interval you are an, an um, encourage to stay optimistic and continue with self-care activities and other preparation for your desire remember that other people's free will choices are involved your angels are presently working behind the scenes on your behalf even if you can't immediately see the evidence of your answer prior okay so this is what is happening namaste until next week please like share these videos and thumbs up.